Hey guys, it is me, Lysimmer, and welcome back to part three of the Walking Dead LP. Um, in this part, we're probably going to transition into episode two, so I'm probably just going to call this episode two if we make it to episode two, if that makes any sense. Um, let's go ahead and continue back to a new day. I just went out to eat and I was really happy. We have to rewatch this little scene. Oh shit. I need to I need to plug in my headphones. M let me do that. <laughs> There we go, problem solved. I seriously need a new pair. Like, I need to go get one tomorrow. I'm about to tell Doc to hey, shut his face. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I'm gonna try to make him stay. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. Or we'll not. Try. Bye, Glenn. We've seen this already. Is it just me or is Doc extremely loud? I'm sorry. Ruining the scene. Alrighty, let me go shut this fucking kid up. Hey, kid. Or not. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Thanks, man. Alright, let's try to shut this little kid up. Doc. Doc. Oh, they won't let me talk to Doc yet. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. Okay. And he would about to kill him. Um What's up? <laughs> what is up? Such a it's just that I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> You better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. 
Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. So sad. Now can we tell him to shut up? Oh my god. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying not to hate Duck, but I'm trying to have a damn conversation. And I hear Duck. Shoulder, Ugh. it's all like pow pow pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Thank okay, you. sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. That was the sound what of my you fist. Want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... You watch your ass. See, I'm hey, too. S Lee, oh, do you have a second? My okay, dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. This is the yeah, end of episode right. one. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Alrighty. Well, let me finish what I was saying. I'm too sided with Larry, you know? Oh, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! Happening. No more, please. No more, please. Lee, please. <laughs> All righty. So, episode two. Um, this right here, you can actually kind of pick and decide well not pick and decide but you can see like the ratings I guess um the most people 
did. Um, me and 63 players were honest. Uh, me and 47 of the players uh, chose Sean. Me and 48% of the players defended Kenny. Me and 55% of the players refused the gun. And me and 76% of the players chose Carly. Now, what I was saying earlier is I'm kind of two-sided with Larry. One second I hate him, but then he also brings up how he wants to keep Clementine safe. So, yeah. On to episode two! Yay! I'm going to skip the credits because I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and listen to credits. Because um, you can't skip them. So, I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys, you know, skip them. Alrighty, let's go ahead and jump into episode two righty here episode two starved for help this is my favorite episode by the way it's just so interesting i love it i smell really good i'm drinking coca-cola from wendy's i know who you are oh, i got another good one for you You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when- You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Okay. I love this episode. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play it. <laughs> Three months later. get this time who is he? i forget uh, who like he rabbit. is <sighs> well that's another meal lost the zombies are starving I them still out still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months it seemed like so much at the time maybe you shouldn't have opened the door yeah except then i'd probably be food by now trust me i have no regrets uh, rabbit's hardly a meal mark but i'd take it we're all hungry no kidding when I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's going to be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <laughs> he's a dick. I mean, a douche canoe. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. 
Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And mm -hmm. I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? <laughs> Knock me flat. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. <laughs> well? Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Intense. I love how they run. Really realistic. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben, please. Okay, we need to fix the music. Because it is really scaring me. <laughs> Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. <laughs> Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. <sighs> oh no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Sorry. But we got it. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to cut you out. Lee, do no, something. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Oh, poor thing. Sorry, but bye. Let go. Oh. Poor thing. Oh. Sorry. Oh, God. Let's that go. Is... Let's go. That's terrifying. Oof. Didn't even look at that. Didn't even look at that. Lee, it has to be now. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Yeah. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Goodness. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Uh, bye! <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! Help! 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 No! Mm. Let me tell you, if I was stuck in this, if somebody ever did that to me. Mm mm. -mm. I would find them. Episode 2, Starved for Help. So we've been staying at the Motel Inn. Motor Inn, is that what they call it? A Motor Inn? I just call it a motel. And uh, we're beginning to starve. Lack of food. We've been living here for three months now. And we are absolutely starving.
Gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going hey, on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? Hey, No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <laughs> Bye, Larry. Ta -ta you now. think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Alrighty. So. We have four items and ten hungry people. Now, the trick that I do is I like to feed the kids first because, you know, they are kids. So, I like to feed them. I think they're the most important. Even duck. Even duck. I know. I know. Alrighty. So, I'm going to go ahead and feed Clementine. Of course. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. We're going to give her a piece of jerky. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Okay. Do not push it. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you <laughs> think, Duck? No, probably not. All right, we're going to go ahead and give Carly Want some something food? to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Okay. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. 
Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Alrighty, so Clem's little hat's missing. So we definitely have to find that because that's our girl. Will you um, hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and feed Mark. Because he helped us earlier today. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <laughs> here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. <laughs> oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Here we go. That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? I was about to feed right, you. Let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. <laughs> um, we're gonna I keep it for ourselves. We're going to be a little selfish. I would have given it to Larry if he didn't pull that stunt. But he did. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Hmm. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Things are starting to get a little tense around here. <laughs> Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <gasps> oh my god. E totally forgot about that. Oh god, I totally forgot how to do this. Move, move. Oh crap. Fajums. Who do you think you is? Why am I messing up right now? Why did I forget how to do this? Shoot it! How did I forget? Really, though? You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why I'm didn't you sorry. tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Oh my god. Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread 
so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. <laughs> what, Me lady? and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. It looks like Bruce Jenner. Anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We're good, Bruce Jenner. We got plenty at the dairy. Okay. Bruce. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Mm -hmm. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine <laughs> might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Oh. She's Diana, a good person. I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all oh, seem yeah? pretty settled in at that motor in. <laughs> Who's running things over there? We work as a group, all of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over Bruce? there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In These the are summers, the St. John brothers, by the way. Goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, they are. and you guys were keeping it there's all to yourselves. Oh no, there's yeah, a you know lot what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! Oy. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Goodness gracious. 
At least he shot him in the brain, so he can't come back. I'll give him that. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot happens from here. Episode 2 is my favorite by far. Um, it just, oh, it's so entertaining. And you guys gotta hear me out when I say episode 2 is, whew, it's amazing. Um, so I hope you guys stay tuned and, um, I'll see you guys next time. I'll probably be posting this tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna try to get, um, a Walking Dead part up every day. And Sims, of course. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.